For today's demonstration, we need frosting, fruit ellipse, graham crackers, and wax paper. The frosting is going to represent the asthenosphere, which is the layer of the Earth's crust that's kind of the oozy thing that the plates can glide around on top of. Then we've got the fruit roll-ups representing our oceanic crust that's like thick and gooey. The continental crust, which is hard and crunchy, is represented by the graham crackers. And both of these are layers that are the top layer of the Earth that are considered the lithosphere. The oceanic crust is more dense, the continental crust is less dense because of that water. And then the wax paper just keeps down the mess. Hi, Macy. Hi, Mom. Hi, Bo. Hi, Mommy. All right, you guys ready to uh, see what happens when pieces of the earth move around? Yeah. So I need you guys to pick up your knives and dip them into that frosting and get a big old glob of frosting. Definitely bigger than that, Bo. And put it onto your wax paper. Okay. Your two pieces of your fruit roll up. And I want you to lay them next to each other. Okay. You're gonna push down on them and push them together. So sort of like put your hands like this on them. Good, push down and push them together. So, what happened? Um, it got all mushed. It got all mushed and did one go over the top of the other? Yeah. So we get this like trench with this thing over the top and this, and then some of this magma oozes through. Um, and basically what we wind up with is a trench that has like volcanic islands coming off of it. Now we're going to replace one of those fruit roll-ups with a graham cracker. Okay, push them together and let's see what happens. Okay, good. This crust, this oceanic crust, is really dense and goopy. And <laughs> it uh, goes underneath of the continental crust. And then some of this magma oozes up underneath of here. And so we wind up with these volcanic chains when the oceanic crust bumps into the <laughs> continental crust, resulting in coastal mountains with volcanoes. I need each of you to take your graham crackers, your new graham crackers, okay. fresh crackers, okay? And I want you to just really quickly dip them into the water about halfway, just give them a little damp. And then? And then you're gonna lay them so that the short sides touch each other. Okay. So now I want you to take the dry sides okay. and you're gonna push them together. Whoa. This is yeah. how we get mountains. When two continents run into each other, then you get these mountains forming because this crust crunches up like that. Now let's get two dry graham crackers. Okay. And slide one forward and one back while you push them into each other. So in this case, yeah, they slide past each other. Sometimes we wind up with some really cool wrinkling, but in this case, the graham crackers are really hard so we don't see that part as well. Which is how these boundaries often look in real life. All right, kiddos, so let's take these graham crackers and set them right next to each other like this on top of the frosting. Don't do anything, just set them nicely right on the middle, on top. Yeah. Good job. Bo. Good job. Okay, now. I want you to push them down and pull them apart. This is a pretty good example of what happens when two continents separate from each other. So you can see there's this little ridge in the center here where some of the stuff oozes up from below. And this is what we would get where we would call it like a rift valley, which a lot of times then will turn into um, it will turn into a lake, and then eventually it can turn into an ocean. Yeah? Mind blown? Finally, let's trade those two graham crackers for two fruit roll-ups. So this is when you have two plates that are under the ocean, right? That thick, gooey, oceanic crust. I want you to push them down and then pull them apart. What happens? Oh, yeah. So let's take a look at Bowen's here because we can see really nicely that as these plates moved apart, they made this valley underneath of here, but also we get all of this magma oozing up, which is how sometimes we're gonna wind up with island chains underneath of um, those oceanic plates that start popping up because of that plate movement. Mind blown. Mind blown. <laughs> what do you guys think? What's the best part of this experiment? I'm eating. Quigley. Getting to eat it? Quigley. Quigley. Quigley couldn't touch it. He doesn't have bones. <laughs> look. Look. The dog.
dog, no thumbs. And now you may eat. Yay.